You see, all corporates these days uh, are concerned with the entire aspect of human capital. And uh, we in Unilever very strongly believe that it's people which make a company. Our growth, indeed our very survival, depends on the quality of people we have and what they can do for us in the future. And therefore we strongly believe that in order to be sustainable, it's not only essential to show a sense of care, but to actually walk the talk. And this ties in very well with our Unilever Sustainable Living Plan agenda. One of the key factors of our USLP is to help people take charge of their health and which includes 1 billion consumers around the planet. And if we can think about people who don't work for us, then obviously we would think significantly more for people who work for us. And that's the entire basis on which we define wellness going forward, which means engaging with the, with the employees, giving them a platform to take charge of their health, as well as help them to achieve their health goals. And if you can look at it from a purely business perspective, businesses have a motive to do so, because an engaged and a healthy employee would actually boost the company's performance levels also. So it all ties in in terms of sustainability, in terms of caring, and also in terms of looking after the health of our employees. Unilever actually defines forward in this entire space of uh, health and well-being and looking at all those factors which can impact the health of an employee and thereby impact his ability to be able to contribute effectively to the business. And while traditionally people would have looked at taking care of employees when they are sick, our entire premise is built on two pillars of health promotion and health protection. Health promotion includes our traditional program of health and well-being which goes by the brand name of Lamplighter. It also includes other programs which we have recently introduced in terms of mental well-being at the workplace. What do we do for our agile workers? Increasingly people are working out of homes and out of other spaces. How do we ensure that they are healthy and protected? As also to look at threats like pandemics which can suddenly put business continuity at a great degree of risk. This all falls under the platform of health promotion. Increasingly as we go forward, we believe that apart from the traditional diseases which one handles or one tries to address in the form of cardiovascular diseases or hypertension or diabetes or hypercholesteremia or obesity, one major factor which is going to make a big impact in the years ahead is the entire space of mental well-being. And we are geared towards that because we believe that depression and mental well-being is going to take its toll in terms of the pressures on performance and in terms of the various parameters under which an individual operates. So that I think is very crucial for us. In the space of health protection, we very strongly believe that our workplace should be designed in a manner not to cause work-related illness in the employees. So we have a well-run program on ergonomics which looks at various aspects of workplace design, all with the avowed idea of reducing injuries at the workplace and also musculoskeletal disorders. So that's how we will define forward that be aware of what can creep up in terms of long-term impact on health as well as those factors which can suddenly come out of nowhere and I, I spoke to you about pandemics. It could be any form of a pandemic. I think the innovation has got to come in in terms of ensuring that you get a local buy-in. You may have a global wellness program but if there is no local buy-in then you are actually going to come a cropper. So in Unilever what we did in terms of designing our strategy for 2011 to 2015 was actually co-create the agenda with local players. So we did an internal hacks exercise which included interviews with all of our stakeholders across multicultural locations asking them what they perceived was the key need with respect to health and well-being. And this was all over in, into a standard global strategy on medical and occupational health. Because it had internal stakeholder reviews in it, the buy-in was much more easier. Equally, our top leadership team within medical and occupational health has got representation from across the world. So any program which is introduced is actually run through them and a buy-in got in before this is done. Having said that, we have a certain bare minimum standard which is mandatory across regions, across clusters, across countries, but any add-ons over that is purely left to the discretion of the local players. So they have the flexibility while still retaining the umbilical cord with the global program. I think from a health perspective, I did speak to you about the various diseases which we are being challenged with and most of them are related to lifestyle diseases. So I would put lifestyle diseases as the key area of focus which actually results in people getting hypertensive or diabetic or with high cholesterol, all of which impact the cardiovascular health of an individual. 
But like I said, going forward, one key factor which many companies are now slowly taking note of is this entire space of mental well-being. As an organization grows and as external factors also have an impact, the world is passing through a tough time. We have recession in many places. The pressure on performance, the challenge on meeting your bottom line is going to increase. It's not going to come down. And the key for employees to be able to deliver effectively is to ensure that they are at the best of their health, both physical as well as mental well-being. So as we go forward, I think engagement of individuals, dealing with their health problems, providing them a supporting environment, and thereby helping them take charge of their own health is going to be the key differentiating factor in terms of how organizations perform in the years ahead. And therefore, I always say that while some people may consider it as a part of corporate social responsibility, to us in Unilever, it's a sustainable way of life. Looking after the health of our employees is a part of a sustained way of looking at all the actions which we are committed to.